Okay, welcome back. This tutorial, we're just going to cover adding text to your project. Again, this is Video Basics, so if you're a big-time Final Cut guy, maybe not a lot for you here, but if you're just starting out in Final Cut and you want to learn how to put some text on your project, uh, we're going to do that now, and I'm going to show you how you can copy and paste your text so that you don't have to keep on uh, redoing the same text over and over and over again. So we've got some footage here. I'm going to drag it into our timeline. All right. This tutorial assumes you know a little bit about Final Cut, but you just want to add some text. I'm not going to go over all the other stuff. Uh, so we dragged it into our timeline. This is our actor. You might recognize it from a green screen uh, tutorial that we did before. Uh, I want to add some text here. Let's say she's talking about travel, and we want to have like the Europe or United States, or whatever the subject is, pop up under her so people know what's going on and what subject she's on. The, the dialogue in, uh, that she's actually speaking doesn't match, so I'm not going to bother to play it. But let's say you play along. You're playing your, uh, your piece, and she starts talking about Europe there, and you want to add Europe underneath. To add text to a project, all you need to do, click on this little symbol here, go down, you'll see text, and there's all kinds of text uh, selections you can make, which we could maybe get into another time, but for right now, we're just going to click on the simple text. Sample text pops up. That's what it looks like. To change that text, we go to the Controls tab, right there. We go in here, and if she's going to be talking about Europe, talking about Europe. If you click on the video tab, you'll see it. Now you can put it in your project. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. I find the easiest. I'm a mouse guy. I just drag it down, and I put it where I, my playhead was, right? So here's your playhead. She was talking about Europe, right about there. So I want to bring this down. Make sure the arrow is pointing down. All right, the arrow right here is pointing down, and you just want to put it right, boom, and that's where it's going to start, right where we want it. It's a little bit long, of course. We'll shorten it up. Let's say we know where she's going to we play through. We see where she stops talking about Europe, and let's say it's like there. So we can grab it here with our two vertical lines and just drag it over like that. All right? So there it is, talking about Europe, right? Smack in the middle of her face. Not exactly cool. What we want to do, click on it. And you'll get your wireframes. If you don't have your wireframes, because wireframes help you move stuff around, go up here to this little symbol here, click on it, click on image and wireframe, and you'll see your wireframes. Grab it, move it down to the bottom, boom, right there, you're all set. Now, might be a little bit hard to see the text. We want to put a drop shadow behind it. All you want to do to get back into here, and I'll show you something too, because I do this all the time, I forget. If I click on the Motion tab, so we've got the Selected, you click on the Motion tab, underneath the Motion tab you'll see Drop Shadow, you click on it, and nothing happens. Why? I don't know. It's selected, but it isn't. That's <laughs> just the way it is. Just make sure if you're doing stuff here and you're not seeing it over here, just go ahead and double click to make sure that it really is selected. All right, so you double click. Now you go up to Motion. Now you go down to your Drop Shadow, and there it is right there. Underneath the drop shadow tab right here, you'll see all kinds of stuff you can do. Don't worry about it right now. If uh, I find two as the offset is nice for the drop shadow. I'll show you what five looks like. And the offset at five, look how far away that is. It looks kind of weird. I find one you can barely see, if at all. But two makes for a nice drop shadow to bring out that nice font, give separation from the actor behind it. Okay. Okay, now if you click anywhere in here, You'll deselect everything, which is what we want to do. We don't want to play with that much anymore. Now we want to add some uh, some dissolve because it comes in a little bit, boom, and then it goes down, boom. I don't know if you can see that, how quickly it disappears, all right? If we want to add a cross dissolve to it, no problem. You take your, uh, your cursor, put it on the edge of the text bar right there. You'll see the two vertical lines. You right-click, add cross dissolve. Cross Dissolve is a little bit big, I can tell that right now, because if I add one here, now we're never going to see the text. It's just going to roll in and roll out, and it's never going to be there. So we want to keep it on the screen a little longer by making the transition shorter. Easy enough. Put your cursor over the transition. Right click. Duration. Click on it. Let's make it 10 frames long. The default is 30 frames, which is one second. We'll make it 10 frames long. Hit Return. Hit return again, right click on this one, duration, click on it, 10 frames, hit return, hit return again, 
and there you go. Now, if you notice that your text is in the wrong spot, let's say you play it back and she actually talks about Europe here, starts talking about it. You can just click on text and move it over there, just like that. Okay, so now she'll start talking about it right there. Easy peasy. Now let's say over here she starts talking about the United States. Rather than having to go through all this all over again, putting dissolves and drop shadows and things on it, all you want to do is click on it, take your, actually, excuse me, take your mouse, left click, hold the left click, and you can select everything there. Let go, and now you've got the text selected as well as the two dissolves, okay? There's a couple of ways to copy it. You can do uh, Command C or Apple C as I call it, or you can just do a, a right click, and I'm a mouse guy, so that's what I usually end up doing. It's all right click and copy. Move your playhead to where she starts talking about United States, right click, paste, and it'll put it right where you wanted it. The only problem is she's still talking about Europe according to the text. See that? So to change that, easy. Double click, right there, controls, Erase Europe, United States. Click on your video tab and you'll see it. Boom. Right there. Talking about United States. It hasn't changed this one. She's still talking about Europe. This one, she's talking about the United States. And your dissolves are intact. And that's all there is to it. So you can keep going along. Let's say this was, you know, a 50-minute piece or a 60-minute piece and the subject keeps changing. All you need to do is you can just copy and paste all your stuff all the way down the line and then go back through and just change one or two words of text or change the sentences however you want and uh, you're all set. So that's a quick tutorial on adding text to your project. Hope it helps if you're just starting out with Final Cut. Happy editing and we'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.